what do you say to people who have saved up for years for the holiday of a lifetime? I mean, insert your own stereotype here, but they're all plausible. You could have people who are going to miss family weddings, people who are going to miss the burial of their own father, people who haven't been on a holiday since 1863 and they've been saving up ever since for this one, people who've never been on a plane before, people... I mean, there's going to be hundreds of thousands of hearts broken by you! What do you say to yes. them? Everybody has a reason why they must fly. But everybody should know by now that the aviation industry is absolutely leading us to a genocide. It's one of the important things, the components of what's destroying this planet. Just read, go out there, just look at what's happening, the devastation. So. I'm making sacrifices in my own life, huge sacrifices. I have a daughter who I love dearly, grandchildren I absolutely am going to miss. I am not going to go to Los Angeles to, to see them. Maybe I might afford myself one flight every three years. Or better still, I'm going to find another way which is less carbon intensive to get to Los Angeles to see my daughter and my grandchildren. We all have, we have to make sacrifices now. People did during the war, when Britain declared war with Hitler, people didn't just go wandering around Europe and doing everything they wanted. No, they all had to stay together to fight a common enemy. Yeah, I, I, you haven't really answered my question. Let, let me, and I appreciate that, but let no, me give I'm you a specific example. I know, together. I know, I know, but here's Antonia, okay? And she writes, I work in renewable heat, day in, day out. So she's on side, you know, she's one of the converted. Uh, but she goes on, this weekend I'm taking a well-deserved week off and I swear to God, if they stop my holiday, I'm going to kick right off. A well-deserved weekend to week. fly somewhere? Week. Do you know how tired we all are trying to help save this planet? We are exhausted. We've all worked. I mean, I, I cannot tell you. I've just never seen people work this hard. We need a holiday. And if the time comes when we can take a holiday, you know what? We'll get a train, go to Scotland, enjoy the nature there, which we're hoping to save. This is what's important, not getting another flight. Yes, I mean, if anybody has an em a real emergency, which I totally appreciate, then they must get to somewhere. We have a system in place with Heathrow Airport to get that person to where they need to get to. If it's a real emergency, we're not trying to, to hurt anybody to that extent, but we must wake people up to the fact that we cannot live our lives as we've been living. It's no good for the planet. It's no good for the next generation. It's just pure common sense. And the government isn't going to care because they just want to make money with corporations. It's up to people to take control of their lives and their futures. What is this thing? Why should we argue? You, so there is you, and, and your, 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 no, your rhetoric is persuasive, but you do miss a central point, is that they, they yes. are in control of their lives, they are choosing to fly, and you are not letting them. So you're actually... Oh, so, no, I know, I know this okay. is just a matter of facts and the meaning of words. It's important, because control okay. has been very then corrupted case, over... So you are taking away case. their control over their own lives. Okay. Just, just, so just to clarify what the word okay. means. So therefore, the I'm, I am going to have to go all, to the news now. First of all, the no, young I, generation. I, I, no, I know all of this, and, I, and I'm not actually a critic of you. I'm just pointing out you can't tell people to take control of their own lives while you are robbing them of control of their own lives this weekend. That's just silly, with respect.